some variation of this question every time you play Arizona, but with, with Kyler Murray, what ways have you seen him maybe grow uh, what you're seeing on tape this year from, from what you've seen in the past? Man, I feel like he keeps getting better and better. Uh, the confidence is for sure continuing to rise. You can just, you can just see it on the tape, um, his confidence and his ability to extend plays and uh, you know make plays for his offense, get, get guys open. Um, it's special, so we got to be on got to be extra locked in focus this week preparing for him. I don't know if it was you, someone was saying there's a difference between him and a lot of mobile quarterbacks just in his, his speed and his kind of stop start. It's just like a, it's more like a video game than anyone else. Um, is that, I don't know if you said that there, I'm sorry. Sure, I, I mean, I'm pro I probably did. Uh, I believe it. I think him and Lamar are kind of just like, you know, they're, they're right there in their ability to um, to run the football, you know, they're two of the fastest players in the league, you know, not just at quarterback, but, you know, they're offensive weapons uh, who are, you know, capable of doing a lot of different things. So uh, that's why he presents such a great challenge for us. When you prepare for him, you know, as a rookie, his second year, third year, now four weeks, you know, four weeks of game film, do you see him being a much more advanced quarterback or is he just doing the same things a little bit better? Uh, yeah, I, I'd say, like like I said, I think he's just continued to develop, at, like you said, like as a quarterback for sure. Um, what, what separates him from a lot of different guys is, is the ability to extend plays, you know, and, and uh, do kind of like the Houdini act of, you know, think you got him on, you think you got him bundled up, and then all of a sudden he's out escaped because you see guys running wide open down the field. So um, it, it's, it's easy to just say, oh, we're just going to press the pocket and we'll, we'll hope that we just contain him. But it's not, it's not that easy, you know. So... It's, it's going to take all 11, you know, it's a full 11 effort. It's not just telling the D-line, keep them in the pocket. You know, everybody's got to be on the same page. Well, what's the balance you try to find when you're defending a mobile quarterback and, and he's moving around to throw while also knowing that he might have a lane to run? Like, when you're in coverage and you see him rolling out, what's what's going through your head when you're like, do I go attack him or do I just stay in phase with the gun covering? Uh, I guess it all comes down to what um, – what your responsibility is on any given play. It just depends on our play call and uh, the timing of the play. If you got to wait till he crosses the line of scrimmage, if you're in coverage, to be able to go after him. You know, if, if he's behind the line of scrimmage, you got to make sure your eyes are on your coverage. Um, you know, it just depends. Your last game against Kyler and the Cardinals, you did a really good defense, did a really great job against him. One of the worst games of the year. It's not that you're going to say what you did, but Uh, I feel like that game we just were we executed at a really high level I'd say you know um, it wasn't that we I, I wouldn't say that we just like we figured him out you know we schemed him up I think everybody like I mentioned before in order to to uh, be successful against a guy like this you just got to make sure everybody is doing their job you know if there's one guy out of out of their out of their assignment trying to do too much boom that's where you know explosive plays happen so uh, we're going to be looking to do the same this, this time around. What does it feel like when that defensive line is firing the way they did those first five drives from your, from your linebacker position? For, for us, in the press box, you kind of just feel that power and that speed. What does it feel like for, from your vantage point? Are you talking about this past game? Yeah, this past game. Yeah, I mean, it, it was uh, it was a special start for sure. I mean, that's that's us. That's our, that's our defense, and it all starts up front. You know, when they're humming and those guys are getting off, they're being disruptive, explosive. Uh, in that backfield, it makes our job, me, Aziz, any linebacker that's in there, um, makes our job a ton easier. So, um, like I said, when, when, those, when those guys up front are doing their thing, then our whole defense is, you can tell, it's just rushing coverage, uh, getting in those third and, and favorable uh, down distances. For, for going, back to, going back to Arizona for the first time since your, your lengthy stay there at the end of, of last year, what did you take away from that experience when maybe when you looked back on it in, in the offseason? Um, you know, it was a time where we got to really just focus on just football. You know, we got uprooted from our lives here, just put in a hotel, and every day you're just going, to, you're literally going to work, focusing strictly on football because a lot of guys weren't around their families during that time. Um, you know, I feel like it was, it was something that we can, we can, we all have like a bonding experience with. You know, since we were all we had. You know, we we all, it was a tough time for not only just the. Football-wise, but just you know, in, in general, just in life. So uh, going back.
back should I, I feel like it should be a good little uh, reminiscence.